Hi, my name is Wangoi Waweru from Golden's Nail Farm located in Nakuru, Kenya. I am an entrepreneur doing snails and I've been doing it for the last six years. Have you ever thought of something like this? This is something that you can earn from and I am going to share my story with you. I started this uh, thing way back in 2017 whereby um, I happened to be con uh, to consume snails without knowing. Someone who I boarded a bus from Kampala to Kenya with happened to feed me with a packed dinner for the escargot that is the snail meat, not knowing I consumed. But I came to know about it after I've consumed. It wasn't a good thing in my heart, but the taste was okay. Uh, that's how I, I, I came to know about snails and I got the interest to know how they are farmed, how they are grown. And I had to go back to Uganda where I, I found a farmer who has been doing it for long. And from there I even had to go to Kigari, Rwanda to get more knowledge because I even tried to find whether I can, where I can get uh, the knowledge in Kenya, I could get any. The snail itself is not known in Kenya as something that you can consume, as something you can keep as a pet, something like, like you can get the byproducts from. But we see the beauty shops from the shops, or the beauty shops and uh, all the snail, snail products. But we don't know where to get, we, we don't know where to, 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 we don't know where they came from. They came from snails. So I find like I've been having challenges. I used to have challenges there before because the community itself was not so much welcome. Even the community, the, the community at large in Kenya, they never understood what I'm doing. Well, so I find like I was somehow like people couldn't even come near me because they believe that I have something to do with witchcraft. But luckily, like, I, I'm lucky, I'm happy now that people are getting to know much because you find like there even other leptides that are being coming in as a way of earning. In terms of consumption, it's not known in Kenya. People didn't know how, how it's consumed, how it's even uh, reared, uh, but it's largely consumed outside, especially in Asia, parts of Europe, and also in uh, most parts of West Africa and South Africa. In terms of consumption here in Kenya, the people who are consuming it are still the same people from outside, but they are based in Kenya. So um, we have the challenge of people accepting it, as Kenyans accepting it as, uh, as a, um, a source of food. But we need to open our minds because we don't have like the way we eat githeri. We just eat it because we found our people, our elders eating it. We need uh, to enlighten ourselves and get to know what it contains for you to get to know what other meat contains. Like the snails itself, they have the white meat. Everything that white meat have, like the doctors keep on telling, uh, telling us, we need to go for the white meat, we stop eating the red meat because it's dangerous. The snail meat has the, the snail itself has the white meat. On top of that, it has, it has things like the vitamin B12, B16, B18. At the same time, the snail is organically grown. So you're sure that whatever you're consuming is very organic. They don't have any chemicals in it. In snail farming, you earn a lot, but you don't only rely on the meat. Before you get to slaughter the snail, you have you earn in different ways. Whereby you, you earn through the byproducts. Whereby the byproducts we have the slime. The slime is expensive. Actually, if you go to the beauty shops, you check on the any product that comes from the snails. It's way expensive. Secondly, we have things like the the snail caviar. The snail caviar is even more expensive than slime itself. Even check, even you can even check on Google or you ask any uh, any person who, who is around who is from Asia or people from Europe. You or you can even check from the Google. It's even it's not less than two thousand two two thousand dollars for a kg. But for the local market, it's a different price, but it's a good market. If you think of the, uh, the, the, the lack of jobs we have here in, uh, in Kenya, if you just get a kg each and every month, you are good. You have a, you have a better future, you have a, you have a better earning more than going for employment itself. You can even, being a, a self-employed with doing snails, just selling a kg of eggs is enough for you for a month, just a kg for a month. Third thing, we have the shells. You can crush them, you can make calcium for animals, you can sell the calcium to people who are doing, uh, who are doing, uh, keeping anim other animals like cows and such. At the same time, you use the, use the shell for, for, for decoration. 
uh, for ornamental purpose. Uh, locally, what is so much, uh, what's really moving is the slime, the liquid form of slime, and the meat for the for the local market. For, but for the export, mostly I, uh, the thing that is going is, in Europe, I usually send a lot of meat that is in life because they use you, you send as live live snails under the controlled temperature uh, and again i also sell the caviar and the slime uh, from outside everything is in demand when it comes to value addition the slime itself is uh, used for is used for things like the soap uh, the face mask you can make face mask with the with the slime as uh, at the same time you can make, uh, make a scrubber from the shell you can make a uh, beauty soap like what i've done here is a beauty soap this one is made of uh, uh the snail slime plus carrot the carrot juice this one is made of the snail slime and the turmeric and uh I've, I've been doing it though I've not been like it's not, it has not been in the market because I'm waiting for um, caps uh, to be satisfied by caps but I have used it I don't use anything else I make my own products I don't use I don't buy anything I also make my product from even for the laundry soap I make my own I don't buy from anyone and, and again I have people who have tried it I tried it by giving it for free for to some ladies and the response i got from them is a hundred a hundred percent no one had a negative uh, response and they've been like now we want to buy but i don't want to sell to them for now because i really need to have to be i really have to work with kids first let them certify me and so that you'll be able to be in the market with the soap but this is some another employment you can get from people because they, you don't have to be a farmer you can even buy the slime and take, make your own, uh, try, try to make your products and sell to the community. Rearing snails uh, doesn't uh, involve so much in terms of feeding because the things you feed them with, you can naturally grow them in your farm with just with, with your kitchen. You can even use your small kitchen, uh, kitchen uh, garden to grow everything for snails. Because for snails, whatever you feed them, like uh, with uh, carrots, with, uh, well, with the kills, you don't feed them with the kills every day because you have to skip one day when feeding them. Because once you feed the snails today, you have to skip tomorrow because when you feed them each and every day and uh, over, that, that is overfeeding, they are going to die of protein. So you feed them today, you skip tomorrow, you feed them with water tomorrow. The day after you feed them with something like calcium, you make calcium from eggshells and such. Uh, you can uh, make from eggshells, you can make from uh, uh, things like uh, the lime, you, you mix with the soil, they're still going to consume it. So you find like whatever you are feeding them, them with, it's available. This is something you can grow from your farm. You don't even need to buy from, I don't even advise people to buy from outside because maybe you can buy kills from uh, a market. How sure are you that they don't have the, 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 the chemicals? Because people are used to using four years chemicals. You have, people use fertilizer, all those are chemicals. You're supposed to go for a natural farm, a, nat uh, uh, um, a, a farm that you, you've monitored and get to know exactly the kind of fertilizers used there, like the organic fertilizers, but not the chemical fertilizers. Yeah, so you find like feeding them doesn't cost much. Cost very little, very manageable, and doesn't like if you and uh, the income that you're getting it's, it's way uh, and the feeding part of it nothing compared you cannot compare because there's there's very little you're going to spend in, in feeding them for you to become a snail farmer it will have to start from your heart because you don't you cannot rear a snail or a snake or whatever or even whatever any animal have you not loved it from your heart so you have to start from your heart from there you need the knowledge because you don't just go into a business just because it's booming and you have zero knowledge about it you're going to fail you're, you're going to fail and you're going to burn a lot so it's better you have the right knowledge you have the, the love in a, you have the love for the snails you support them for go for go for the training from any source uh you know better for you uh, available uh, then from there you need the permit from the kws because the snails is under the animal orphanage under the kws you need the permit from the kws and definitely when you go when you go to the kws they have to know where you got your training from they have to get to know whether you are trained or you're just coming to business and you don't know you know nothing about it from there you need structures and uh, the, uh, the starting breeders that's how you start as a beginner you need to start small like you're supposed to start with at least 20 kgs of breeders 
which is which is a uh, uh, manageable and you start from where you can even learn more from what you got from your training and uh, what I've done here this doesn't uh, it at least it costed me uh, around uh, 250,000 to start the structure plus the breeders and everything but you I've, 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 uh, for me to to go to 250,000 is because I this is a I, 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 I enlarged the farm. I never started from this one. I started in a small area. Then I, I've, I've added the farm. So you as a beginner, you don't need to, to start with this much. You just need to start with at least 20 kgs of breeders, which will cost you around 32,000 because each kg is 1,600 for breeder, that is. Uh, then for the structure, it cannot cost you more than 5,000 as a beginner. And plus the knowledge and everything that will cost you around uh, thirty-five to forty thousand. We have different species. Actually, we have different uh, breeds with different species. Like here in Africa, we have the giant African last nail as a breed, but it has several species. Like what I have here is the AF. We call it Akatina Africa. We have another one called AA that is Akatina Akatina. We have the Magnata that is Akatina Magnata. We have the Akatina Magnata ovum, etc. We have several uh, breeds. We have several species. In Asia, we they have a different snail. We they call them uh, the Asian snail, but normally known as uh, Roman snail. It's, it's a, a certain snail that can survive anywhere here, even here in Africa. We have them. When it comes to uh, selecting a breeder, you really have to check on several things, especially the age, the weight, and the size. Yeah, and by this I tell you, uh, by telling you this, I I mean like you can find a snail which is uh, f six, uh le let's uh, talk of three months old, and uh, there's another one which is four months old. So if I like the size of the four months old, it's bigger, but the size of the three months old, it's heavier. What does that tell you? That tells you tell you that the three months old it's more more healthy than the f four months, and this is how you select the breeder. You don't go for the size or the bigger size or the the, the, old, the old one. You have to go for the right or the or the best breeder because this three months old, which is more heavier than the four months, it's more healthier and it's going to give you more more eggs than the four months. For a grown sn snail that is uh, from six months and above, they usually weigh between uh, uh, 180 to 200 grams. That is for this specific species, that is the AF. But there are others like the AA, they go up to 230 grams per snail so if i like four or less than uh, five to six pieces uh they are enough for a kg but for this one they usually go for uh, between uh, 180 to 200 grams but doesn't mean that all of them are going to be the same uh, the same uh, uh, the same uh, weight because there are others that are that are not that, are not that much uh, healthy the so snails are usually uh, sold at 1500 per kg when they are, that is for live, uh, live snails, but when it is uh, in a fresh, that is uh, an escargot, already the shell separated, we usually sell them at between uh, 6,000 to 7,000 shillings. I've, I've done so much uh, research about snails. I've dug enough to get to people and get to train them about snails. I even invite people here from uh, outside, they come uh, even from every county. At the same time, I go to some counties when I'm in case they need me, they, they invite me to train them about snails. So you get like, there are people who are try, trying to diverse and get to know much about the snail and everything like not only snails but other things like we have the we, we are people we have people who are doing uh, things like the silk the silkworms and other people are doing something different so they get to get the knowledge in the future i have a, a project i'm thinking about whereby it's going to be snail adoption uh, and through th this ab adoption um, i'm doing it for people to love the snails and at the same time they are able to collect the data and something that will sell uh, outside there and also locally and I'll find it, I find it being interesting because you find people adopting a cat, adopting a snake, uh, a snake, adopting a child but snails have never been, you've, there's little, little known about snails because people have not been so much into snails but through adoption you find like you'll be able to get the data, you get to know much about snails and you'll be able to love these snails they really have to stop being seen as witchcraft or something like that. We really need to love these things. That was my story as a snail farmer. What's your agribusiness story? Share it.